morning everybody it's tuesday august something and i starting out my day going out on the bike going down i gotta post a few flyers looking for a room to rent i gotta hit up the bank store get myself ready this morning it's like 6 30 i have a job interview later this week so i gotta do a lot of things just to get myself ready you know what i'm saying trying not to waste any time trying to do everything i can to make up for everything i fucked up before i should have worn another jacket it's kind of cold out today all right hold up I don't know if it's still recording or not, if you can see something or not, but I'm going downhill on the bike. Oh, shit.
<laughs> First stop, train station. I gotta put up a flyer that says I'm looking for a room to rent. This being an affluent town, maybe somebody got a spare room out here I could I could get, maybe work out a good deal. Shit, why not? I got nothing else to lose. That's what we about that's what we finna about to do right now. stops and then I can get myself a coffee I'm gonna earn this coffee Doing what yourself? Alright. Can I get a uh, pack of Newport 100s? And then do you have school uh, citrus? Yeah. Do you have long, which one do you have? Long cut or pouch? Which one is long that? Cut. Can I get Leah yeah, long cut? And the coffee. 15, 14. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. 
Do you have do you have, do you have a book of matches? Oh, thank you. Do as well. All right, so I put one sign up, one flyer up, stop at the store, got my cigarettes, got coffee, got to find a garbage can. All right, so I got my cigarettes, I got a coffee, I got a tin for later. Put up my flyer, I got one more flyer left to put up. I gotta hit the bank, take out some cash, head up stopping shop, get some groceries, get some more cash out. Go back home, make a few phone calls. I gotta take care of the situation with the IDRC about the uh, valuation shit. Call uh, Elizabeth Probation Department. They almost lost my mind, my Jesus piece. Call it the Elizabeth Probation Department about my community service situation. Um, what else? And just, you know, follow up on this job opportunity. What else I gotta do today? Uh, see if I can do some stuff around the house or clean up the house before my parents get back. Rest up, you know. Uh, just, just keep staying busy. Make some videos and shit. I'm, I'm gonna take a break now, dog. Cause I've been, I've been running around, I'm tired. I want to draw my cigarette, cup of coffee. I gotta wait to stop shop open. Go take care of that. So I'm gonna go offline for a little bit, but I'll be back on and keep making content for you guys. All right, so it's early, enjoy your morning. Whether you're on your way to work, you're chilling at the crib, you know, light one up for me. You know, I remember when I used to take the train in the morning. I used to take the train, I used to be here at five in the morning. Taking the train out to the city if I wasn't catching a ride with my parents, you know. I used to live out in New York and Queens. So when I was going to grade school, my, 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 uh, grade school from kindergarten to eighth grade was like four blocks down the street from me. So like around second, third grade, I started walking to school, you know? And uh, once I went to high school, I was going to high school in the Bronx. Cause the school I went to, my dad worked for university. So I got free tuition, you know? So I was waking up five in the morning and going to the Bronx, from Queens to the Bronx. I was taking three trains and the bus to school every day. I would get uh, to the campus, it was early still. I smoke a blunt with a security guard, you know. Then, then go to the building, get some maybe some breakfast or whatever. You know, chill before uh, you gotta sign in for homeroom and then you start your day. That was high school. Then we moved to Jersey before my senior year. So I was, I was taking this train in the morning or I was uh, getting a ride. Then after high school, I was, uh, going to college in the city, so I was taking the train more frequently. So I had, I had to set my, uh, I had to pick my classes, it was those different times to my, my parents' work schedule. See, I wasn't thinking back then, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't being as efficient. That's the key sometimes, you try to be as efficient as you can so you're not wasting any time, you know? If I had picked my classes around the time my parents were going to work, I could have gotten a ride with them instead of having them give me money for the train, save some money right there. Could have taken the train later if I wanted to, you know, get early there, stay late, whatever. Maybe I, been, I wouldn't have gotten uh, kicked out of school, you know. I ended up going back to Clown College after I got a scholarship to one of the top business schools. I got a scholarship to one of the top business schools in New York, in the city. I lost my scholarship. My attendance forced them to withdraw me. 
So I ended up floating around for like a year, which I got into a lot of trouble for. I just, I just kept selling drugs. Then, then nothing came out of it. Nothing good came out of that. <laughs> and I ended up going back to clown college. Got my associates. Got a couple certificates in accounting and finance. Never used any of that shit, which is so stupid of me. You know, but like right now, I'm trying to get myself clear. I'm trying to get myself together, focused. You know, I got to finish this community service. I got to pay these fines. I got to finish this evaluation. I got to move out. You know, I'm not trying to go back to no detox, no, no rehab, no long-term treatment unless I absolutely have to. More focused on moving out, getting a job, staying on my own. You know, if I, if, 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 even if I do all the probation, I mean, the rehab and all that stuff, and then I can't, after that, I can't hold myself together, then what was the point of going there when I have to try anyway? So I might as well do it in my terms, you know? That's what I'm thinking, at least. I've been to rehab, I've been to detox, and, I'm, and after I get out, I, I went in, I went out worse than when I, when I went in. So, who knows how it's gonna be when I go in this time and come out, you know? That's, that's, that's the state of mind people are in. You go into rehab thinking, well, as soon as you get out, you're gonna do shit. So what's the point of going for 30 days when you know you're gonna get out and still wanna, still wanna you know, you have the intentions of relapse. Okay. You know? I'm gonna take a break and I'm back in a little while.